I'm Jesse Love, essential movement specialist. So I just did a video on how like sitting in a chair in an office is not good for your health. And it was, uh, you know, linking chronic diseases like cancer to sitting. And then I suggested floor sitting. So in this one, I'm going to talk about the art of floor sitting. <laughs> what we can do to strengthen our core strength and help our body feel good. And what are some stuff that might just sort of wear down our body and hurt our body. Okay, so number one, the floor is like the best thing in the whole world to exercise your whole body and it is available everywhere. <laughs> number two, uh, the way that we get up and down off the floor will determine if we are hurting our body or helping our body get stronger or healthy. Gravity is vertical. And then how our relationship is on the floor, we want to make sure we're not hurting our hips or our pelvic floor and that we're lengthening and strengthening everything to stay healthy and, and beautiful and strong. Okay, so number one is how you get up and down off the floor. So if gravity is vertical, ideally, we're keeping the head and shoulders back over the hips and we're keeping our body vertical when we are coming up and down off the floor. So we're avoiding, you know, leaning forwards, lots of pressure on my back, lots of pressure on my knees, spine is really getting, you know, I'm unhappy, dragging my body up. And the same with coming down. So I'm like coming down, my spine is getting a lot of pressure. My knees are getting all the pressure. I might collapse and sort of fall on the floor. So the first thing is to build strength in our core strength and to help our tissues and our joints stay healthy and strong and get healthier and stronger by getting up and down off the floor vertical. So let's say I can't get up off the floor vertically. I can't do a sort of kneeling, dragon, pressing vertically coming up off the floor. Let's say I don't have the core strength to do that. So how can I adjust for that? Well, I could have a stool handy or I could have a chair handy where, okay, I'm gonna come down and then as I'm getting closer to the floor, then I sort of do what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna try to get up and down, you know, off maybe something to help me get closer to vertical, right? So I could use these to come up and then come up. Slowly, slowly, the more we're trying to stay vertical, the stronger our body will be to support us to get up and down off the floor. So one would be dragon, the other one could be a squat. So let's say I'm sitting on the floor and I want to get up off the floor. I'm going to maybe vertically try to come up and come down. I'm not showing off, I'm trying to show <laughs> options. Okay, if you have to use your hands, that's fine. But you notice I'm trying not to use my hands because I want my muscles to be able to support my bones so that I'm not forcing anything or yanking anything or cheating. If you are a person who's in a chair and there's no way you're getting down to the floor, just try to get up and down off the chair using a different side if you are using your arms. And the same thing with the floor. If you have to get up off the floor using your arms, just switch sides. And it's gonna to start to strengthen your body and create more balance. Now, when we are sitting on the floor, we never ever ever wanna sit on a tucked pelvis if we can avoid it. So you always wanna be on your sit bones and most people cannot be on the floor with their bum and they have to come up so I'm sitting on a yoga block to find my sit bones, right? So I'm avoiding the spine rounding and the pelvis tucking, trying to find my sit bones. Get pillows, get bolsters, get creative. Let me know. Do you always sit on the floor and you didn't know about getting up vertically to strengthen your core strength? Is there another way other than squatting and dragging to get up and down off the floor and keep vertical? Let me know what you think. Cassie Love. Bye for now.